Hi guys, it's Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm doing a first impression gameplay video for Zaya Oriental Fantasy, a 3D martial arts themed fantasy MMORPG published by Zaya Studio. Now I'll spend about 5 to 10 minutes running around checking the game out and making some quick comments. If you guys want to play Zaya Online or just learn more about it, check out our full review on MMOHut.com on the link on the right sidebar. Now I like this login screen already, so we're off to a good start guys. Let's log on to the global service over here. Alright, let's go click our create character button. And let's see what the game has to offer. Our first class... Whoa, this music reminds me of Final Fantasy VII for some reason. The Shinra music, but maybe that's just me. Our classes include Sword Man. No, guys, we don't have Swordsman. We have Sword Man. He's, and unfortunately, it looks like the classes are gender locked. But we have Sword Man, Mage, Warrior, Ghost Fighter, which I'm going to say is a rogue, and Sword Man. Yep, so we got four playable classes over here. And they are gender locked. And I'm going to go play a sword man. Not a swordsman, guys. A sword man. I'm going to name myself appropriately. Sword man. And you can see the character. It says create over here, but it is spelled incorrectly. Which is uh, awesome. And it just disappeared. Awesome. Let's go make another character. It's gone. The create button is gone, guys. And I can't even name my character now. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, now I made my character. I had to restart the game for, because that creep button disappeared for some reason. I don't know why. Well, let's log on our sword man and see what this game has to offer. I am in prairie area. So let's select the game, select channel. There's only one channel in the game. And some quick history about Zaya. The game used to be published as Zaya Rebirth by Games Campus. But since uh, it was shut down towards the end of 2009 and it was picked up by its developer, which is being published by Zaya Studio. And the first thing I can tell you right away, uh, the graphics aren't so good. The movement is done entirely through point and click. You can use the WSAND to change the camera controls, which is a bit weird. And it'd be nice if you can move, move with WSAD, but that's not the case. And this is really the busiest part of the game, so it doesn't exactly have a high player base, but there are a few people playing the game. It's not completely barren, like a few games. But yeah, like I said, this is everybody in the game. This is the most populated pl place in the game. And we'll bring up our map over here. And let's just man up and run right outside town and kill stuff. Awesome. Let's go up here. I'm not sure which way to go though. Portal or portal? There's two portals over here. Top or bottom? I'm going with top. I am in prairie area. And again, you move entirely with the point and click over here. And as a warrior, wow. Swordsman, my bad. I only have 8 HP, wow. So for a total of 4 playable classes, the, you know, the game has 4 playable classes, and unfortunately no character customization. And I can see this being a problem right away. Movement is really slow. I feel like my character should just uh, pick up the pace a little bit and, you know, give it the whole, give it the jog. Or at least a nice sprint. But nope. He's just taking his time walking. And we're going to portal up here. And these portals look pretty shiny. Let's look at our interface while we wait. Well, I guess not. We're going to loading. Alright. Now, the interface looks really old. I can tell this is a very old game. We have four stats. Strength, Stamina, Dexterity, and Energy. And don't confuse energy with intelligence or mana. It's actu actually just your, uh, you know, HP bar. Put points in there to max up your HP. And a swordsman, apparently that's important for me. So I'll be working on that. Level 1 right now. The game has a nice max level cap of 100+. plus. Although experience is really slow. And awesome. There's level 35 monsters here. So I guess north was not the best way to go. I can take these guys. Come on. Icy woman. Let's fight. And I had 8 HP. He did 365 damage. So he one-shotted me. Awesome. I guess I'm blacking out right now. Whoosh. Where will I res? I should go back to town, I imagine. I imagine incorrectly. I am exactly where I died. So I guess this game is pretty generous with your death. Because you just show up where you died, apparently. Alright, good thing I have one of these homecoming scrolls or whatever they were. A lot of games offer that. That's why I checked right away. And let's go the right way this time. Let's go to the right portal. So guys, don't go north. You'll get certain doom if you go over there, at least early on. And the south portal is the way to go. Now the game has some crafting options as well. There's actually the quarry over there, which I imagine you can gather resources in. It is called the quarry after all. Almost the same. So the game tells you what level the monsters are. He's almost the same level as me. I'm level 1, so how is that almost the same? It is the same. Oh, it looks like as I get experience over here, I'm going to get new quests. I'm going to close that for now though. You can see on the bottom over here, I have two XP meters over here. I'm level 2. Let me kill this guy over here. And you can see my experience meter move as I kill monsters. The top one is actually my 
regular experience bar, and the bottom one is my skill XP bar. As the skill XP bar fills up, I'll have access, I'll get pretty much skill points or training points I can distribute to various skills in the game. And this fills up a lot faster. The top one fills up pretty slowly. And I don't know why it's 800%, because that doesn't really make sense. Maybe, I, I don't even know. So let's just kill a few of these dogs over here. Prairie guide dogs, or portal, guard, portal dogs, or whatever they are. I do like it that they respawn right away. At least I thought so over here. Nope, they're gone. Poor dog. There we go. Let me kill a few more over here. Now I have energy circulation. I need three energy and three training points. I have seven training points. And let's open my skills menu. My stat menu, which is C. And pump our energy because apparently I need that for all my skills. We'll load this up and see if I can put a point here. Nope. So apparently I actually need skill books to learn these skills because I meet all the prerequisites but I can't actually learn it. So I do need skill books. And that's one recommendation I can give you. Play a warrior early on. If you play a mage class, they're very expensive early on. You need to buy all the skill books to use your skills. And warriors are just easier to learn the game with or swordsman, whichever one you want to play. Now, I'm not exactly off to a good start with this game. The game's interface is very lousy. It just feels like a very old game that's still being dragged on. Very limited character customization options, four playable classes, and I'm in my... Let's, let's go up here for a second. My biggest complaint with the game, though, is its content. There's actually very little content in the game. Except besides the high max level cap, there's very few maps in the game. I'm going to go over here, and uh, by, by the time I go in this portal, I, I would have visited a third of all the maps in the entire game. That's right, there's like nine maps in this entire game. Nine. And I just been to three right now, so... Awesome. I've, I've explored 30% of the entire game. 33.3% that is. But the game kind of makes up for that. I don't want to say make ups for it, but makes up for it in a cheesy way. The game was called Zaya Rebirth, and it was called Rebirth for a reason. Like in Ragnarok, when you reach a high level, you can actually opt to rebirth your character and start all over again. And with access to certain new skills and abilities and stats. And you can actually do this. Get this, like five times. The game lets you rebirth so many times that I guess the only reason people are still playing the game are the people that just really want to get max level, but they can't. They're the perfectionists trying to max out, but they can't because the game just makes you keep rebirthing yourself to get a little bit stronger every time. So that's pretty ridiculous. One good thing over here, at least, is that as you level up, you get the you get quests automatically, and the quest skills automatically. No, the guide over here automatically recommends you what monsters you should be killing, and if you want to do the quest, you can always do that. I have a quest meter in my quest journal over here, and I can see my two quests. Although the game just isn't well presented, that's my biggest problem with the game as well. And the ground over here just, just looks like a shade of different shades of green, nothing too fancy. To be fair, the game's music isn't bad though, that's not bad. Combat animations are pretty slow, and earlier I actually got stuck inside of a, a bridge while moving, so. The game has some very obvious graphical issues, or gameplay bugs are just not being fixed right now. If you're walking like in a corner, it's not uncommon to get stuck. And you saw at the character creation screen, I literally couldn't make my character because the game just bugged out on me and I had to restart the game. And the game actually took a very long time to download as well because I guess the global service is very slow for North American users. And a low player base also makes for a not so great MMO experience. The game has a few PvP elements, late game, guild wars and such, but again, with such a small player base, it's not really enjoyable. I mean, I guess the one really positive part about this game, and I guess the why some people would play it, is the is the rebirthing system. You can rebirth five, six times, so there's a lot there's a lot to do if you're really bored. And the uh, most system requirements. Apparently this boar is, boar is tough, much harder than other guys I fought. But let's distribute some skill points over here. And it's funny, because the game calls skill points, stat points. And your training points, if they, just, if they just switch training and skill, it would make a lot more sense. Because skill points should be used for skills, while training points should be used for stats. I don't know what they were thinking. But let's pump my energy before I die. And another little problem over here, my only, my, the first skill I can get is a, is a healing skill. But in order to get my first actual offensive skill, I have to be level 3. And what am I, 4? I'm a 3 right now, I think I have to be level 4. Because I need 8 energy. So, you don't really get your first offensive skill for a while, and that's a little annoying because I have to grind without it. I'm going to kill more mad dogs because I, they're, they're a little bit easier to kill. They take a lot less time. The map is decent though, you can click M twice to change the map setup, whether it's zoomed in a lot or zoomed out a lot. 
And I, right now I should be in town buying a new weapon, but I'm gonna man up and use my sword. Another one, another good thing about this game though is it's very detailed skill system. I don't want to say detailed, but very. Because there's a lot of skills in the game called hard force, which you saw over here. I guess these are my active skills. And soft force, which are my passive skills. And you can even see five element system, which I believe you get, you get X these after you rebirth, or you gotta work on these separately. And this is the rebirth martial arts. Yeah, it says you need to rebirth at least one time to use this skill. So there are a bunch of different rebirth skills as well. So there's a lot to do if you're willing to put in the time to get there, but a buggy gameplay, limited content, poor customization, and a lot of problems plague the game. And personally, I would try something else, but hey, if you're if you're just really bored and want to try something, I guess you you can give this game a try. And uh, I'm going to have to log off, guys. I'm running out of time. If you guys want to play Zaya or just learn more about it, check out our full review on MMOHut.com on the look on the right sidebar. Later, guys.